How's it going, everyone? This is Brett Darian, and another year has passed us, so welcome to 2023. Hope everyone had an awesome holiday, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I unfortunately felt a little ill over the holidays, so excuse my voice if it maybe sounds a little different, because I'm still trying to get over that. But anyway, it is time for another update on my collection, another room tour. I do these every year, and I wanted 2022 to be my upgrade year, and I think I did upgrade quite a few things. So there are some changes here. Uh, you might notice a few things missing. I did let a few things, a few games go, but I think it is safe to say that my collection is definitely bigger than it was this time last year. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just get right to it, and I'll show you everything that has changed. Alright, so out here in the den, still got the same Samsung 55-inch 4K TV, the K9000 series. I've had this TV now for going on six years, so I've had it quite a while, and I'll eventually replace it. It is lacking a few new features now, like Dolby Vision and stuff. But I mean, it still works fine, the picture on it is still good. So I'll, I don't know if I'll upgrade it this year or not. And on top here, we have the PlayStation camera. And as far as consoles go, I do have the Switch OLED now. I got that recently in 2022. And I have been playing it a lot, actually. I've been playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe online a lot uh, with the group on Twitch. And I also have been playing Animal Crossing a lot, as well as sometimes I play... Um, uh, Cruise and Blast, so a lot of great games on the Switch, and of course the screen on the Switch OLED is also a lot better. Um, so, uh, uh, so I've actually been playing the Switch more than I did when I had it a few years ago, when I had the original launch Switch. So no regrets getting the Switch again. And I also have a carry case, I bought this recently. Um, this is a carry case for traveling with the Switch. This can carry the console along with the Joy-Cons and a couple other accessories, as well as I think it has slots for like eight different cartridges. So that's nice to have for when you're traveling around. I got it from Walmart because it's the on-brand. So, you know, it's not bad. Now the rest of the stuff here, um, we have a... Uh, uh, this is a Sony Blu-ray player. I originally had this in the other room, but I brought it out here. And behind here, we have the Switch Pro Controller and the Switch Grip for the Joy-Cons. And still got the uh, record player here and the cassette stuff, cassette player, cassette recorder, some portable cassette players over here, and a few cassette tapes. And if you know me, you know that I love to uh, still record music onto cassettes from the radio, as well as streaming radio stations off the internet. And here's a variety of tapes that I have made over the years, and I still plan to make more. And these are all a bunch of blank cassettes as well. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, over here we got the PlayStation 5. Um, uh, actually have not played the PlayStation 5 that much this, uh, this past year, honestly. I think I've only played a few games on it. Um, despite how many games I have on the PS5, I really haven't been playing it a whole lot, because there's just been so many other things to play. I've been playing PC more, too. Uh, but despite that, I still have it here. Here's the PlayStation VR, which I think the PlayStation VR 2 is coming out this year now. So I'll definitely look into that, but... Uh, I honestly have not touched VR in a very long time. Like, I haven't played the PlayStation VR in probably maybe over a year now, maybe in a year and a half, and even more so with the HTC Vive. Uh, this has been sitting here for probably about two years, um, and, and I literally have not touched it at all. I mean, VR is cool. Like, I really loved VR when I first played it, but I guess it doesn't interest me as much as it did. Um, but... That being said, though, I will still look into the the PS uh, the PSVR two and see what software and games are available for whenever that comes out. Um, but up here, we got DualShock Four controller for playing PS Four games on the PS Five, as well as an actual PS Five controller and a cable for charging and hard drive for storing PS Four games on the PS Five. And now, here, we have the actual games that I have. Um, first up here is, like, I've had these for a long time, the Back to the Future trilogy on Blu-ray disc. 
and the Kickstarter Shenmue 3 cover, and a PlayStation VR demo disc uh, version 2. And here's full set here of games that I have. These are all the physical copies of games, anyway, that I have for PS4, PS5, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania. If you saw my uh, video I did recently on pickups, uh, you would have seen that I got this game. It was part of a Black Friday sale. And so is Sonic Colors Ultimate. And Fallout 4, CTR, Nitro Fuel, Shenmue 1, 2, and 3, Astro Bot, Flint Hook. Switch games here. We got Elmo Crossing, New Horizons, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Party Superstars, and Cruise and Blast. And down here we have some movies. I've been slowly kind of growing my movie collection. I really don't watch uh, movies that much. Uh, but if I really like a movie, I try to maybe get it on physical copy. Because sometimes they have bonus features and stuff that you can't see on like streaming services. So here's a list of them here. And uh, some are pretty good. Some may be well known. Like, if you haven't seen 1114, uh, you should probably go watch that. It's pretty nice. And I saw this and thought it was kind of cool. Uh, this entire collection of Beethoven movies. I'm familiar with the first few movies, but I never watched any of the others. But this is all eight of them on, uh, on I think, um, like, four DVDs. Uh, like, there's a couple of them here. There's the third movie, the fifth movie, and yes, yeah, so this is all eight uh, Beethoven movies, all here on DVD, so I thought that was cool when I saw it. But anyhow, so that's all for out here, so now let's go in the other room, which is uh, down there. I've also been trying to redecorate a little bit out here, but I haven't finished yet, obviously. Um, but that'll be for a project later on. But anyway, yeah, let's go in that room now and see what's different in there. Alright, so welcome to my updated game room slash office space. So if you've been following me for the past year, uh, you would have seen my videos on me updating uh, this room. I painted the walls and got a whole new computer desk and built this a brand new PC so I no longer have my old PC this is the new one that I built back in April of 2022 of course everything is still working fine still have a blu-ray optical disc drive here this is also a burner if I want to burn uh, DVDs or blu-rays we got two intake fans here in the front and an exhaust fan here in the back as well as a couple of exhaust fans here on the top and the inside uh, Intel i7 12700K, still have a GTX 1070, maybe I'll upgrade that eventually, um, but new capture card and new sound card, so this PC looks really, really nice, I really like this rig, so, so that's the PC, still the same monitor, but everything else here though has pretty much been updated and has been new for 2022. So that's really awesome. I think I also got this printer as well in 2022. This is my first laser printer, and it's the first. It, it's the best printer I've ever had, so I definitely regret not getting a laser printer sooner. And I also got, since my, since my new desk does not have as many shelves or stuff, I got this filing cabinet here. So I got a lot of papers and documents, like in this bottom drawer here. I've got a lot of manuals. And printer paper in here, and it's a mess. But I got all kinds of manuals in here for stuff. So that's just one example of what I need a big, uh, big filing cabinet like this for. And down here we got a flatbed scanner for scanning documents and and images. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with Windows 11, so I have to use my laptop, which has Windows 10, in order to operate this. But over here. Uh, TCL TV, I did a video on this when I got it in November of 2021. Uh, let's see, 1080p, 40 inch, smart Android TV. And we got the Dreamcast here, Sega Dreamcast, which I recently replaced the GD-ROM drive in it. I did a video on that as well. And we got the Xbox 360, still been working okay. 
an impact acoustics component switcher box. This is still an Apex digital TV converter. I did a video on this somewhat like a, a few years ago. Uh, VCR original Xbox. Again, really excited about uh, being able to play some original Xbox games online again. That's really cool through Project Insignia. So if you're interested in that, uh, 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 definitely check it out. N uh, Nintendo GameCube. Still working fine so far. Um, but I do need to replace the clock battery in this because it is completely dead. So every time I turn it on, all of the settings have been lost. And PlayStation 2. Sitting right here, still working fine. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe putting in a hard drive on this uh, console, so we'll see about that for the future. Of course, here's Xbox 360 uh, controller and the Xbox 360 Connect for those Connect videos that I do uh, sometimes. N now in this cabinet, uh, turn the light on here, so maybe see a little better. Uh, we got a couple of uh, uh, we got a couple of original Xbox demo discs and a Dreamcast uh, uh, demo disc, as well as a few burn games and music CDs. And in this cabinet here, uh, got an Xbox S controller and a couple of uh, Dreamcast accessories, a uh, Dreamcast controller. And these are game bit screwdrivers for opening 10 or 64 cartridges and consoles. And speaking of Nintendo, we got the Nintendo 64 right here. Again, this one's been modded for RGB. I did a video on that a few years ago. And this also has the expansion pack. And in this, we got a blue Nintendo 64 controller along with a copy of... 40 winks, which sometimes I even forget that I have this because it's tucked away in here. So I really haven't even played it uh, for quite a long time. And down here, we've got my collection of GameCube games. Got, of course, we got Animal Crossing, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash, Pikmin 1 and 2, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, Tandy Avalanche, and Wave Race Blue Storm. I think all these games are complete with the exception of Pikmin 2. And over here we got the games that use the DK Bongos accessory, Donkey Kong 1, 2, and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. So those are all the GameCube stuff. Now over here, I have really tried my best to organize this shelf of games. I have alphabetized all the games except for the N64 cartridges. And I have also, um, I kind of trimmed down on the N64 cartridges. I did have two shelves dedicated to N64 cartridges, uh, but I wanted an extra shelf for storing Dreamcasts and other games, so I decided to trim out some N64 games. But we'll go through them later. But I'm very, on the very top here, still got the Dreamcast keyboard and mouse. And here is... So far, my entire original Xbox collection. This uh, this has been the most games I've ever had for any one console, physically anyway, ever, in all time. So we'll just go through them here. Again, these are alphabetical order, I do believe. 4x4 Evo 2, Apex, Arctic Thunder, Big Mother Truckers, Black, Burnout 2, Burnout 3, Carve, which you can play online now, by the way. They uh, they added that one recently. Crimson Skies, you can play that online too, uh, 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 through Insignia. Crash Nitro Kart, Crash Tag Team Racing, Crash Twin Sanity, Crash the Wrath of Cortex. Maybe one day I'll get one that's not Platinum Hits. Crazy Taxi 3, Dead Man's Hand, Drive for Live. Uh, which is a, um, let's see, this is an interesting game because uh, this is just a game about Volvos. Um, haven't played it yet, but it's it's definitely interesting, definitely unique. Uh, Flat Out 2, Forza Motorsport, Freaky Flyers, and Galleon, and Greg Hastings, Torment Paintball, Stunt Track Challenge, Juiced Loons, Mad Dash, uh, Mech Assault 1, 2, Midtown Madness 3, you can also play this online now. 
Midway Arcade Treasures 3, Namco Museum, and OutRun 2. And down here, Panzer Dragoon Order, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Legend of Black Cat, Power Drum, Quantum Redshift, Raymond Arena, Razor's Hell, Room Zoom, Sega GT Online, Silent Scope Complete, Sims 2, Slot Car Thunder, Smashing Drive, Splashdown, Spyro Hero's Tale, Spy Hunter, Super Monkey Ball uh, Deluxe, Thrillville, Torque Prehistoric Punk, Unreal Championship, which you can also play that now online, Wallace and Gromit, Whacked, Whiplash, and my most recent pickup for the Xbox 13. So I look forward to trying that out. So that is all for the original Xbox games, but I bet you this time next year when I do my next update collection tour, uh, this second shelf here will also be completely filled with original Xbox games. Now down here, we've got Dreamcast games. And again, I just recently alphabetized these today. Uh, 4x4 Evolution, the first 4x4 Evo. And Choo Choo Rocket, this is one of the games I picked up on my uh, trip this past holiday. Uh, Floygan Brothers, Hydro Thunder, this is a sealed copy, by the way, of Floygan Brothers. Uh, Looney Tunes, Space Race, Ooga Booga, Out Trigger, uh, Pen Pen Triassalon, Revolt, Seaman, of course. Shenmue 1, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Shuffle, Speed Devils, Speed Devils Online Racing. Unfortunately, this is just disc only. Uh, no manual or anything. Storm Wind, The Grinch. Still didn't play that yet this past Christmas. Shame. Uh, Wacky Races and the Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. They're really cool. All right, Nintendo 64 games. I don't know if I actually got any more Nintendo 64 games in 2022. There may have been a couple ones that I got earlier in the year. Um, but we'll go through these. Let's see. We have Super Mario 64 and Donkey Kong 64. And this is Rocket, Robot on Wheels, Yoshi Story, Mischief Makers, Rampage, World Tour, Blast Corps, Bomberman Hero, Bomberman 64, Buck Bumble, Milo's Astro Lanes, Diddy Kong Racing, Mickey Speedway USA, Beetle Adventure Racing, Wave Race 64, Cruisin' USA, Cruisin' World, Cruisin' Exotica, Micro Machine 64, California Speed, Penny Racers, Top Gear Rally, San Francisco Rush, and... Stunt Racer, which this is a reproduction cartridge. And that's it. That's all the N64 games that I currently have. And Xbox 360, Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, Blur, Gears of War 2, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Naughty Bear Gold Edition, Sega Superstars Tennis, Hot Wheels Beat That, Portal 2, and Halo 4. And now on the other side here, I have uh, Connect Games for the 360, Game Party, Adrenaline Misfits, Kinetic, uh, 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 Connectimals, The Gun Stringers, Sonic Freeriders, Connect Sports, The Ultimate Collection, which has Connect Sports 1 and 2, Hole in the Wall, Disneyland Adventures, Connect Adventures, and Connect Joyride. And I almost forgot to mention the three PlayStation 1 games I have, uh, Family Feud, uh, uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt, and Micro Machines V3. Now, down here, my full collection of PlayStation 2 games. This, uh, this collection has been growing quite a bit, and I've actually been enjoying uh, trying to find all these games. So let's see, here we have ATV Off-Road Fury 2, ATV Off-Road Fury 3, we got Burnout Dominator, Dragon Quest VIII, Drone Racers, Escape from Monkey Island, Gadget Racers. This is another game I just got very recently when I was on holiday. Goosebumps Horrorland. I, I, I did a video on that for this past Halloween. Gran Turismo 3 and 4, Hurdy Gurdy, Hypersonic Extreme, Jack and Dexter, 
The Lost Frontier, uh, Jack X Combat Racing, Jet X 2O, Connecticut, uh, Metropolis Mania, My Street, RC Revenge Pro, Ski 2, Snow Racing, Snoopy vs. the Red Baron, Space Race, which is, this is, a, this is basically the Looney Tunes Space Race game from the Dreamcast, Splashdown Rides Gone Wild, Stuntman, and Wave Ray, uh, Wave Rally, not Wave Race, Wave Rally, and this is the first uh, Stuntman game, as opposed to Stuntman Ignition. But yeah, so I do believe that is all of my physical collection of video games as of January 2nd, 2023. Now, before I end it, though, let's go over to the closet, and I will show you the update on that, how that looks. And here is the closet. Nothing uh, uh, too exciting in here. There's no video games, but I just wanted to show uh, uh, that I love to collect boxes. So these are all the boxes of the uh, uh, the new PC hardware that I'm using now. So there's the... Uh, like, there's the CPU box, there's the motherboard that I'm using, there's the uh, the colored RGB fans that I'm using, this is the power supply here, uh, that's the capture card, this is the sound card here, and behind here is the Nintendo Switch box. So, again, I just love to collect boxes, I just like to look at them. And up there we got a few other boxes... Up there a few more, that's the graphics card box, and we got the DK Bongos up there along with the Connect box. And down here just a few other odds and ends, like this is just a shelf for stuff that I don't know where else to put them. So I just put them here for the time being, like the, uh, like the DeLorean model, and some, uh, some empty CD cases, an old hard drive, and a can of compressed air. And some VHS movies down here. I've shown these before. I still have them. And some blank VHS uh, videos there. And one thing I did do that I'm uh, very happy about is I used to have a big collection of cables and wires. And I just had them completely stacked in here randomly on a ball. Uh, but I finally went through these. And I... And I categorized them into these baggies. So these are USB cables. Here's some VGA cables. Here's power cords. Uh, these are like composite AV cables here. Um, so just anything you can think of. Uh, these are component cables. And again, USB cables. Some of these are kind of buried. Like these are Ethernet cat cables. And... And these are this miscellaneous cables. So whatever else is in here, like there's a GameCube microphone. So I'm glad I did this. So now if I'm looking for something in particular, th then I can just come into this box and then just look for the particular bag. So that'll be a lot easier to find cables. And down here, we got the PlayStation VR box and the PlayStation 5 box lives down here because it's so big. Uh, but anyhow, guys, I think that's it. Um, that is all uh, for my collection update tour for 2023. So I look forward to any other games that I get this year. Hopefully some some new cool games come out this year and I play a lot of games and, and have some cool new experiences. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for commenting and liking and subscribing and for following me all these years. And hope you all have an awesome and happy 2023, and I will see you next time. Take care.